Hi, I'm Lisa. Thank you for joining me today for Relaxing Yoga for Flexibility. And we will be doing a really slow flow today, pretty much all on the floor. Um, I want you to feel extra relaxed at the end. This is going to work out your muscles, help you be more flexible, and also help you feel more calm and tranquil throughout the day. And um, I also have a really exciting giveaway. Um, which I will be announcing how to enter at the end of the video. So please stick with me through the whole flow and then you might be a winner. So just coming to the center of your mat, on your knees, and don't lean too much. Try not to have too much tension here. Your spine is straight, shoulders are back. And we'll just do a few quick breaths. So close your eyes. Inhale, exhale all of your air out, inhale stretching your head toward the ceiling, exhale, inhale and exhale all of your breath out. Okay, open your eyes. And we'll just come start in the center again in child's pose. So just stretch your hands toward the corners of your mat here. Fingers are out. And your forehead is resting on your mat gently. Shoulders are away from your ears. Take a few deep breaths, relaxing your spine. Push yourself back just a little bit more deep into your hips here. One more breath, stretch your fingertips toward the front of the mat. And then gently come up. And we'll come onto all fours and we're going to do a quick down dog here. And just to get the muscles and the blood flowing, just a little bit of stretch before we go into our deeper flexibility poses. So hands at the front of the mat and go ahead and stretch your ankles and just walk your feet back a little bit. And then you're going to press up into your heels, press through your palms. Your sit bones are reaching toward the ceiling and go ahead and bicycle just a little bit here to get that stretch in your hamstrings and your glutes. Make sure your shoulders are away from your ears and your neck is relaxed here. So just keep bicycling a few more times. Stay with your breathing. And we'll just press a little bit more into the mat. Straightening the spine, lengthening the spine. Okay, and come forward into high plank. We'll do a quick chaturanga here. Make sure your palms are directly underneath your shoulders. Press a little bit back into your heels. Make sure your spine is still straight. Your hips aren't raised. Your neck is straight. Looking down at the floor. And go ahead and lower. And inhale up toward the ceiling. Inhale, lengthening the spine, pressing through your palms. Fingers are still spread wide on the mat. And exhale. All right, and gently lower your legs to the floor here. And lower gently all the way to the floor. So now we're moving into Cobra, which will help strengthen your spine, help lengthen your spine, um, and generally help you in all of your yoga poses and practice. So from the floor, your hands are directly below your shoulders. You can walk them a little bit back and your neck should be straight, 
there should be no straining or tense uh, tension in your neck. Just keep looking at the floor and you're going to use your hands to slowly lift up and you'll look up toward the ceiling gently. There really should be no weight in your hands at this point. Um, you should still be pressing your feet and your legs into the floor. They should not be lifted. And just inhale and exhale. Keep your elbows into your side. Keep looking up at the ceiling. Your shoulders are away from your ears. Okay, and you'll just release slowly all the way down to the floor. And just kind of shake those legs out. They can get a little tense in that pose. We'll do one more cobra. So inhale, pressing up. And just look gently up at the ceiling. <sighs> Exhale. Inhale, press a little bit further up. And exhale, release. And shake those legs out again. And we are going to move into pigeon, which will help flexibility in the hips. So just gently press yourself up onto all fours. Just give a good stretch here. Stretch out that spine and your shoulders. And I want you to move your right leg forward. Your left leg is going to stay straight back. And I also want you to go at your own pace. Don't strain your muscles or <laughs> hurt yourself in any way. This should be fully comfortable. Um, if you're not fully flexible in this joint, you can always stay lifted. Just make sure that your hip is pretty straight. As you can see, you know, it's straight all the way back. There's no curve. I'm not leaning toward one side or the other. I'm balanced. So just make sure you're balanced between your hips. You don't want to hurt that joint in any way. But I'm going to go ahead and lower all the way. Make sure you're still breathing. That will definitely help your flexibility, help your muscles stretch out and just kind of ease any kind of tension or pain that you might be feeling. And you should be feeling a stretch on the outside of your right glute and the front of your left hip. So just breathe, lifting up your spine toward the ceiling. Just one more breath. Now, if you are comfortable in this pose, you can stay here or we can advance into Proud Pigeon. So just slowly move your hands behind you and you're going to grab palms and you can stay here. You can do reverse prayer like I'm doing now or you can grab and pull all the way back. This is a full Proud Pigeon. And just breathe. And so this is a great shoulder stretch as well, but you definitely want to move slowly into this. You don't want to injure yourself in any way. If you ever feel any pain, you know, just stay with whatever pose you're comfortable in. And we'll slowly release. Bringing your hands forward, move that right leg back, just kind of give a nice little stretch. And we'll move into left side pigeon now. Just gently bring that left leg forward. And again, your hips are still aligned. Make sure your right hip is aligned. Your feet are pointing towards the back. And I'm just going to slowly lower to the floor, making sure everything is still balanced. Just a couple of quick breaths here. Go ahead and lift up a little, head towards the ceiling, look up. And now if you want to advance, slowly move your hands back behind you. And again, you can do reverse prayer, your hands together at the center of your back or 
make um, a double fist and just slowly pull your shoulders back into proud pigeon. Make sure you're breathing in all of your poses. Your breath is one of the most important things in your yoga practice. And slowly release. Bring your hands toward the front of the mat. Gently press up. Back onto all fours and just stretch that left leg out. And we're going to stay on your hands and knees here. And we'll do a nice spinal stretch for cat cow. Um, and this is very important to breathe along with it. Um, it will help you lengthen your spine, stretch your spine, um, strengthen your abs, all those great things that we all hope to get out of a workout. So go ahead and exhale into cat. Stretching out toward the ceiling. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. And last one. Exhale. And stretching all those muscles, shoulders away from the ears. Spine is nice and curved. Even stretch your toes a little bit. And relax. All right, from this pose, we're going to move into camel. <clears throat> okay, move your knees a little bit more toward the center of the mat. And just lift up one vertebrae at a time. Stretching all those muscles out. And now, Sit all the way up, spine is straight. Roll your shoulders back just a little bit. And we'll move into camel pose. So there are several variations of this, um, whether you're a beginner, um, medium, or advanced. So go with your comfort level. Um, you should never feel any pain and just stick with your breathing. If it's too much for you, just feel free to sit up. Like I am now, just sit straight up, stretching back, and we'll go ahead and begin. So just place your hands at the center or bottom of your back here, at the base of your spine, and just inhale, and you're going to slowly lift your spine up and your head back at the same time. So. To stay balanced here, you're going to press your hips forward towards the front of the room. Um, not too much tension in your knees. Your hips should be what's balancing you here. So just lift straight up, stretch back, lifting your hips toward the front of the room, always keeping your shoulders away. And I'm going to go ahead and just reach further down my legs. with your breathing here. Hands at the base of the spine still. And release. Just shake it out a little bit. Don't release from the pose too fast. You can definitely be dizzy. All of the blood is rushing up through your heart and through your neck up to your brain and your head and everything else. So it can definitely create that sense of dizziness. Just Go slow, and we'll do one more before moving on to the next pose. So hands at the base of the spine again, lifting straight up, and just gently look back, walking your hands down your legs if you wish. Just a few breaths here.
and slowly walk your hands back up. Just another few deep breaths. And we'll move back to the mat. So just lower your hands on all fours and we're going to come completely on our stomach on the mat. And we're going to go into another cobra. I think that you'll feel a little bit more stretch here, um, a little more flexibility from the poses that we have just gone through. So just lengthen your spine, looking straight down. Slowly walk your hands back underneath your shoulders and inhale, lifting up. Some deep breaths here and you can lift up a little bit more. And release. And now we're going to go into King Pigeon which might be a little too advanced. Um, so just again, stay with your comfort zone and just keep working towards whatever you're comfortable with. You should never feel any pain, just a really good stretch. So just walk your hands back a little bit more and we're going to push all the way up. And you're going to inhale, lift toward the ceiling and you can walk your hands back a little bit more just lifting up and one at a time, you will bend your knees, pointing your toes towards your head. And just stretch, stick with your breathing. Fingertips are all pressing into the mat. back to the mat and you can slowly release down to the floor just shake it out a little bit and now we will get a nice good <laughs> relaxation period and child's pose so onto all fours press back into your hips reaching your hands toward the corner of your mat and just press back a little bit further. You're going to feel a really good stretch at the base of your spine. And relax your shoulders here, relax your neck. You'll feel the center of your spine slowly relaxing and releasing that tension. One more breath here. And then slowly raise up. One vertebra at a time again. And we're going to move on to our back and go into half wheel pose. So just move your legs to the front of your mat. Okay, and now just lie all the way back, keeping your knees bent. And we'll be moving into half wheel pose. So you're going to, you know, walk your legs in just a little bit. Your palms are face down on the mat, um, right next to your glutes. And you're just going to press your hips toward the ceiling. Breathing here, press through your shoulders and you're going to roll your shoulder blades inward where your arms are almost directly underneath you. And you're going to lengthen through the spine here, no tension in the neck. And just keep pressing up toward the ceiling. Press through 
Press through these shoulders here. And release. Slowly down to the And go ahead and pull your knees in to release that tension in the spine, the stretch that you just did. And just rock side to side. And you can grab wherever is comfortable. I'm grabbing at the elbows for a deeper compression, but you can always you know, grab gently at the ankles, grab at your knees, also gently don't pull on those joints. Um, or you can just gently place your hands on your arms here. Go ahead and squeeze a little bit tighter every time you exhale. And lengthen the spine on the mat, inhale. And exhale all the way out. Now gently release one leg at a time. We'll be moving into floor spine twist. So move a little bit up on your mat, mat if you need to. Your spine should be aligned, heels are touching. Gently bend your right knee up. And you're going to move your right knee to the left side of the floor. And inhale, stretching your arm toward the ceiling. Exhale to your side. Now this should be an active stretch, so make sure you're actively stretching that hand towards the opposite wall. Trying to bring the shoulder a little bit closer to the floor. Neck is relaxed here. Stick with your breathing to deepen the stretch. One more breath. Gently move back towards center. Release your right leg. Go ahead and bend your left knee and we'll do the left side. So move your left knee towards the floor. Inhale your arm up toward the ceiling. Exhale down. Looking over those fingertips. Trying to get the shoulder a little bit closer to the floor with each breath. And one more breath. And gently back towards center. And we'll just do another quick stretch here, grabbing your knees. Just rock gently from side to side. sit up, coming to the center of your mat, and I'm going to grab my lavender eye pillow for our Shavasana. Probably the best part of this flow, or any flow everybody waits for, is Shavasana, and I'm really excited to use this eye pillow. So check out our video description and see how you can win one as well. Now slowly lie all the way back down on the mat. Heels are touching, your spine is aligned, and just stay with it for a few breaths here. Stay with your breath here, relaxing the mind. Thank yourself for coming to your practice today. And you can stay in Shavasana as long as you want, or just slowly lift up out of it. And I just want to thank you for joining me and relaxing yoga for flexibility. I 
Hope that it helped you in your practice and I can't wait to see you next time. I hope that you subscribe to our channel so you can see me in my future videos. And if you want to learn more about me, check out lisahusberg.com. You can see more about my yoga practice and some of my other projects. And I would love to hear your feedback and comments in the section below. So please tell me what you think. I look forward to seeing you next time.